number one Iron Age booty daddy. In the day and age of Internet 2.0, modern entertainment, both corporate and indie, both kind of follow a similar format. What format, you ask? Well, it's about, you know, rage clicks, hate watching, and overall getting those sweet, sweet hate dollars by doing something that the subject of my video thumbnail and my title has done very well. You see, Eric July actually did something very well in Internet 2.0, and it is something that I think a lot of people are not prepared to leave behind. So Eric July, a big subject of today, launched Alpha Core number one. And as I was thinking about today, what do we talk about? Do we talk about how Alpha Core made some money? Do we talk about how Eric July and the Ripperverse and the people that he's working with? Mm, we could, but that's not my style. Everybody else is going to talk about that. I want to talk to you guys about Eric July and the future of the internet, specifically Internet 3.0. So, if you guys like what I am talking about here on this channel, please do me a favor. Press that like button. Ring the notification bell. Wait, how do I say this now? God, it's been three weeks. Guys, just do the things down below. Like, subscribe, notification bell. You guys know what to do. You've been around Internet 2.0 as long as I have. So, with all of that YouTuber crap out of the way, let's get into this. So, Internet 2.0. Well, honestly, has been driven by AI algorithms for, well, basically since Internet 2.0 has been around. It was probably some of the earliest AI that we actually saw work on the masses. Now, what it did is it actually showed us that in order to get more and more people to interact with us, what we basically have to do is we have to piss them off, especially when Internet 2.0 was largely controlled by a small group of social media companies. Why do I bring all of this up and why do I think it's important? Because I think that Eric July possibly is looking at something in a very different way, in a very specific way. And I've only heard really one other channel talk about this, that other channel actually being Clownfish TV. And I see them doing the same thing. So let's dive deeper into it. Today, AlphaCore released, and although I didn't have time to follow all of the stuff going on with AlphaCore today, what I saw overwhelmingly was enthusiasm, right? People happy to be there. People excited to see what Chuck Dixon is going to release for the Ripaverse. Now, one of the things that we also see is that he didn't do it on another platform. He did it on his own. He built his own space, his own place to go, his own thing, right? That place that you can follow Eric July at. And guess what? Unless Eric July decides to kick himself off of his own website, he's probably not going anywhere from it. One of the things that I really had a hard time finding specifically today was a lot of the haters. Maybe it's because they got drowned out by all the enthusiasm. Maybe it's just because I wasn't able to find a bunch of people uh, doing the rage bait and hate clicking. But one of the things that really, really strikes me today is how we're going to transition from the 2.0 version of the internet into the 3.0 version of the internet. You see, Clownfish TV, Neon specifically, has been talking about how internet 3.0 is probably going to lead us into a more decentralized internet, right? Instead of all of us gathering in one place on certain social media platforms, such as Facebook and what's now known as X, I like to call it Twix because it's funny, or even crowdfunding on places like Indiegogo and Kickstarter, Internet 3.0 may lead us into a place where all of us are actually doing it on our own. We have our own websites, we have our own places to go, and so on and so forth. In addition to that, the AI that drives people, right, that has been driving people to rage and hate each other and ultimately build social instability is probably going to advance tenfold, but it's not going to advance in a way that I think a lot of us think the way it would today because it's probably not going to drive hate clicks anymore what it is going to want to do is it, it's going to want to aggregate right it's going to want to figure out how to keep you into the matrix and so the new version of the ai is most likely just going to start looking and aggregating for you the websites and the people who essentially you want to be around so you won't essentially have one platform that is social media anymore 
you, like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, you're just going to have the internet in and of itself. Now, where does today's events around AlphaCore fit into this? And that is enthusiasm. Ladies and gentlemen, positive feeling in the world is always said to be more powerful and longer lasting than negative emotion. And to be perfectly honest, I think at this point, all of the rage clicks out there, they're becoming less and less effective anymore. You're actually watching it on channels out there that do a lot of hate watching. You're actually watching uh, Twitter accounts out there that do a lot of the rage bait and the hate click and all this stuff. And even a lot of the trash garbage rags that go out there and want to write articles specifically using all of the clickbait titles in order to try to drum up that hateful emotion. Well, it's wearing off and it's not working and it's really not providing any sustenance for anybody anymore. And what people are looking for now, after an almost decade, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Comics Gate and the Gamer Gates and all that, that's almost a decade old at this point. But after almost a decade of hate and rage clicking and trying to get those sweet, sweet, sweet time to own the chuds dollars or whatever people are good at, I really think that we're entering a time period that's going to coalesce with the introduction of Internet 3.0. And I think Eric July and channels like Clownfish actually see this coming. And they see that the monetize your haters style of internet play is probably not going to be around, at least in this iteration that it's been in, as popular as it is, for much longer. It might be a fun novelty to do once in a while on your videos that you privately stream to while the AI, you know, feeds your video feed into the aggregation video feed on someone's phone, because I feel that that's where we're going. But outside of being novel once in a while to get in a little bit of a spicy debate, I think people, at least on the internet, are getting a little bit tired of the it bleeds, it leads mantra that's been around for, well, decades at this point. So overall, I see what Eric July is doing. I see how he is, one, building enthusiasm, two, building his own place to get away from a lot of inter the internet 2.0 isms, right? The rage bait, the hate clicking and all that stuff. And three, I think overall, with the enthusiasm that's driving, the AI for Internet 3.0 is going to start to benefit guys like him. Because as you can see, Eric's putting, Eric is able to garner a lot of money from his campaigns that he's running. Whether you like him, whether you hate him, the fact of the matter is, people want to give him money. Now, ultimately, that's where the AI is going to lean in the future. And that enthusiasm to give somebody money because you believe in them. You see what they're doing. You see how good it is. Well, that's the way of the future. So ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the future. Internet 3.0, I think, is going to be a trip. But I'm actually really hopeful for it. I don't think we're going to see the Terminators yet. I think that's Internet like 5.0. Like that's Internet 5.0. I'll check out before then. But 3.0, I'm kind of excited for. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Because just so you guys know, if you're new to this channel, every single Sunday, I do a live stream dedicated to reading all of your comments. And I make sure to go through and I give you guys my answers. Sometimes I rage at you. Sometimes I actually admit that I'm wrong. Because a lot of times you guys own me in something. But nevertheless, I want to make sure that you guys know I'm here. And if you guys are going to dedicate your time to me, I'm going to dedicate it right back to you. So as always, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.